what's crappin'? Uh, Brevard Community uh, Facebook page. Um, booyah shack, remember that? I uh, just uh, just wanted to make a quick little update to those of you who have been wondering about this or who have you know been looking forward to this. I was there. I went to it. Um, not looking too good from what I saw. Uh, you might want to avoid this one if you guys are planning a vacation or a trip or something. Maybe think twice about it. Uh, for those of you uninitiated or who don't follow the newsletter, uh, UCF, the adjacent, the adjunct uh, building to Brevard Community College, they had a sort of like um, I guess it was a it was a particle collider that they called it a particle collider. I don't know if they were doing CERN shit or I, I didn't mean to swear. I'm sorry. Um, we'll cut cut here and then but they uh had they erected this sort of like gigantic metal donut um that was supposed to like fire protons or something it, 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 they had a big viewing porthole and from what i saw in the advertisements it was just people going and looking into it i don't know if, how safe that is but that was the least of it from what i saw that was the least of the concern um I had about two hour break at my classes. It was the Coco, but it's the Coco campus uh, for BCC or what once was BCC. Uh, I had about a two hour break. I would decide to go see it. I don't know how long it takes between charges. I'm assuming an hour or so. Uh, but I caught it right when they were amping up for another one. Um, I don't know what the deal is with bringing your kids to college. Uh, I don't in hospitals. If you're a nurse, you can kind of let your kid run around and play with shit, but. Here, especially with equipment like this, I don't know if that's the best idea, especially after what happened, but some kid was, <clears throat> some kid was like playing with a Super Bowl or something or like jacks or a, a couple kids were doing something with like just some spheres or something. And one of them tumbled into the reactor, the guy, and it didn't look like a well-managed thing. It's very early on in its lifespan, the big donut here. Um, and in the hour wait was, was there was an hour wait going into it. That was one hour done just to, just to wait to see the fucking thing. And it wasn't well, just to wait to see the thing. And it wasn't like there was a huge crowd. Uh, and then when I finally get to it, there's a guy behind like, just what looks like a big, like Acme studios plunger. He's he, he like, he's has one earmuff off, I guess, assumedly to when he gets the sign to launch it. And they shoot one off, but they, someone left a hatch open or somehow a kid wiggled his way in to the tube, I guess at the apex, right where the, the particle in the trajectory of it. And I knew something was off when I saw that flap just open and whatnot. And the guy was, was waiting and, and I saw him yank the thing, kid inside, they, they fire off a proton. It look apparently it looked amazing because everyone in the portal was like, oh, but the kid ended up getting like a stray proton like right to the neck or like a, a neutron or whatever they were throwing. It could have been a, a quark or whatever, but they shot something cellular or molecular and the kid took it right in the neck. And then I'm guessing, I don't know much about radiation. I mean, I watched that video of the dude doing the lecture where he's like, he has a cube of radium on his hand. He lights on fire and then slugs it back with a, with like a, a can of beer. And he's like, it's fine. It, it'll pass right through me. It's no big deal. So I don't know if they also, if that's, if everyone sort of treats radiation like that, I don't know what the effects was, but they, I talked to the guy afterwards saying, what the hell happened? What's going on? Why are you shutting this all down? He says, we really fucked it on this one. We shot a kid in the neck and it was radiating outward. They said, and I couldn't tell by looking at it. He stumbled out of the tube with sort of like, if you like a, a permanent thousand yard stare in his eyes and kind of a weird, like, like Kaiser Soze limp. Um, but he looked okay. He lived I don't know the lasting damage, but they said from here to here, like down here will not age. And it was about an hour cleanup afterward. And I was watching this kid sort of stumble around and like his eyes roll back, but I didn't see this part age at all. So I'm assuming that's mainly the big offender there is that they just made the, the kid will grow taller and wider and like wrinkles will set in, but from like chin to like oblique. It'll be like perfect pristine. The kid was maybe 12, 13. So that he's going to have the torso and neck of a child, but the rest of him will grow old. So I don't know how that's going to look, if it's going to mold inward or whatnot, but that's what did it. And they said, this is fucked. We're going to have, I don't know, OSHA on their ass. Someone, they, it, there was a lot of commotion. Uh, the parents were just kind of looking around like, well, that was cool. All right, let's get back to work. Um, so that 
is what caused the whole delay. I don't know if they're going to say what happened or if that, but that's what I saw. And that's kind of what caused the big how to do with it there. So if you're looking forward to going to this thing, if you want to get down with, with particles, I know it's very interesting. I don't particularly like that stuff. I figured, you know, shoot your shot, try it out, see what's going on. But a kid caught a proton and now he's like permanently young in like his torso. So just be careful. Uh, it doesn't look like a very like regimented and, and supervised thing. I think they're shooting from the, literally shooting from the hip on this one. So guys, if you're, if you're wary of particle radiation or, or any sort of like, if, if you're, if you're not liking the idea of that, just wear like lead or something or like line your pockets with like, I don't know, uh, elbow patches or something. So, but that's just what I'm seeing. Um, just wanted to give a quick update to you guys. Uh, cause I've just been seeing, you see these flyers all over the place here in Coco, at least, you know, here and now I'm in Melbourne. So I'm seeing them here too. So it's even reaching, you know, the non beach places. Um, it's just like, you might've seen them. It's like a cannon, like an old timey, like cartoon cannon and like a neutron, like a, the, the particle thing, the atom, like the atom cart, like a cartoon of an atom shooting out of a cannon. And it says like, if you don't like particle physics, watch this. And it just shows that. So you guys have seen that, uh, if that's up your trolley, go for it. If not, maybe avoid it because a kid is forever young, so to speak. So just giving it, it's not a quick update. It's about seven minutes, but I just kind of wanted to talk about that. Um, to all the posters in the Facebook page and on the IRC, lots of love. Uh, long time poster, first time videoer. Uh, but I look forward to continuing getting back to it. Uh, art walk coming up. Let's get psyched, guys. Let's get psyched. I hope that Tiki guy is coming back. Ed's Tiki's, big shout out. Uh, not a sponsor, just a fan.